So the PC beta for the Killing Floor 2 Halloween Update 2019 started last Friday, so Friday the 5th, and it's going to run for two weeks, and then the second wave of the beta is going to start September 17th, and I'm assuming two weeks after that, the full launch will come out for PS4, Xbox, and PC, I'm assuming Tuesday, October 1st. Hey guys, this is Chris of BNB Gaming. Welcome back and I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video and thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments. Definitely appreciate it. And they definitely help me out because YouTube is kind of weird right now. Like it, they don't like recommending different videos and stuff. So likes and comments and shares definitely help me out and I appreciate it. To start with guys, if you are playing the PC beta or Maybe you're going to download it right now while you're watching this video. Tripwire has released a new survey for the beta that asks about all the different guns and what, how you like them. Do they feel good? Do they do put out enough damage? Etc. Now, I think filling out this survey is actually really, really important because it gives them the feedback to make sure these guns and these different weapons are, you know, tuned properly so they're, they're actually fun to use. And I've noticed as they started doing this, getting feedback from the community like this, the updates have been quite a bit better in terms of guns being balanced, etc. Now as far as what's in the upcoming update that you definitely want to try out, first of all, obviously you want to try out the HRG nail gun for SWAT. And I tried this out a bit last night and this is definitely my favorite new weapon because it, it feels like the AA-12 shotgun and it just it feels amazing then they added the hrg buckshot revolvers for the support and i think they could use a buff on the damage because they're i mean they have the recoil of the 500 magnums but the damage is pretty meh another weapon to try out is the hrg health thrower now i played with this a little bit last night and it's fairly effective but to me it doesn't feel very satisfying to use it kind of feels like a I don't know, like a leaf blower <laughs> or something, right? You're sitting there just <laughs> blowing gas or something. <laughs> it's not it's not very exciting. So, I don't know, maybe they should add something to make this gun a little more interesting. Now, along with this, they've also updated the Vlad 1000 nail gun, adding more damage, playing around with a different fire mode. So, you definitely want to try that out. And also, they've been improving the Hemo Goblin. Now, they've been doing some weird things with armor and stuff where they've been changing the armor on the rioters and the edars and during this beta wave one they actually removed the weak spot damage on them so they've been messing around with the hemogoblin a little bit where it does more bleed damage on armor targets speaking of the abomination they've also tweaked him quite a bit they're playing around with his armor making his armor i think it has five stages now in addition, his little spawn, his little poop monsters, they no longer leave gas behind. They have almost half as much health, they move faster, and their explosive damage is greater and also the radius of their explosions. In addition, they added the ability for those little poop monsters' explosions to actually damage the Abomination's armor. So you can use, you know, explosive weapons like the China Lake or Seeker 6 or of course the RPG when the Abomination has his little poop monsters around him and chew off his armor a little bit faster. Now in addition to this, the Abomination moves faster, sprints faster, and he has greater range on his attack. So his axe attack, his vomit attack, his <laughs> fart attack. Along with this, they've also increased the range of his gorge attack and added the ability for us to shoot him while we're trapped in his gorge attack and actually escape from it. Another thing to try out in the beta is the change to Commando. With Commando, they actually took the recoil buff off of hollow point rounds and gave it to the Commando as a passive ability. So as you level up, you're going to increase your recoil reduction by 2%. So eventually when you get to level 25, it's going to be 50%. So the reason they did this was so they could add recoil reduction to eat lead and kind of balance that out a little bit. Another thing to try in the beta is Stand Your Ground. Here they've changed how Stand Your Ground works in that now instead of having a pool of dosh that you could potentially get, 
how it works now is if you have at least one of your teammates or preferably more <laughs> more of them in the circle all the kills you get while you're in the circle will earn you dosh and according to the blog post all players are going to get rewarded the dosh or whatever kills the players in the circle get for me i'd actually change that i don't like that but you know hey whatever along with that they've also modified the amount of reward you get by difficulty so on normal you get the regular amount on hard you get 1.1 on suicidal you get 1.2 and on hell on earth you're going to get 1.3 along with this in the beta they have the new map ashwood asylum which doesn't have objective mode on it right now which is kind of disappointing but overall the map is actually pretty cool it's got a new music track with it and now two really important things that are not in the beta are the new rhinos and the ion thruster and i think this is kind of a big mistake on their part because they need these betas to tune these weapons we've seen with these betas especially you know us taking the surveys the community helping tune these weapons you know where they're good right away makes a big difference and if they're going to put in these new paid weapon dlcs at full launch and they turn out to be yeah okay or even worse that's a big mistake i hope they look at this and find a different way to actually test these weapons to make sure these weapons are worth paying for